Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. This is now question number eight from the M1 June 2020 International A-Level Mechanics paper. And this is the last question on the paper. And this question is about an acceleration time graph, um, which is quite a rare question actually, but it's not actually that difficult. Um, maybe some people might have got surprised by it, but and you'll see how easy it actually is. It says the acceleration time graph shown in figure five represents part of a journey made by a car along a straight horizontal road. The car accelerated from rest at time t equals zero. Okay, so we know it accelerated from rest, from zero, so the speed was um, zero, um, at time equals zero. And we want to find the distance traveled by the car during the first four seconds of the journey. Okay, so if it started from rest, what we can do is we could use the uh, SUVAT equations here to sort this out. It's very easy, actually. So we want to find the distance traveled. So let's put S U V A T. The acceleration is constant in those first four seconds, and the acceleration has a value of three meters per second squared. And the time, of course, for those first four seconds is four seconds. The initial speed was zero. Okay. Uh, we don't know the final speed right now. Okay. And we have to find the distance. Okay, we have to find the distance. So we could actually work this out with just this information here. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And we'll get the answer. So I'll show you, I'll show you lots of ways of doing this question. So you can have S equals UT plus a half a t squared. That's one method of doing it. So we've got all the information we need. u is 0, t is 4, so that's going to become um, 0, plus a half times a, which is 3, times t squared, which is 4 squared. So you end up with getting s equals, that's a half times um, 3 times 16. So you have 3 times 16 over 2, which gives you 3 times 8, which is 24 meters. So S equals 24 meters. That's one method of doing it. Another method of doing it, which is pretty simple, is because we know um, the initial speed, the acceleration, and the time, we can find what V is. V equals U plus AT, which is equal to 0 plus uh, 3 times 4, which is 12. So I know that this is 12 meters per second okay after four seconds that's 12 meters per second so now i can use the fact that the distance is the average speed which is u plus v over two times the time okay so that's a nice easy equation to use so s equals initial speed plus the final speed over two times the time so you end up with s equals 6 times 4, which is 24 meters. That's another way of doing it. Okay, that's two ways of doing it. Another way of doing it is to think about what the velocity time graph would look for look like for this. Okay, which would be basically, if you think about the velocity time graph, it will be constant acceleration, so it will be a straight line going up like this. Okay, for the first 4 seconds. And after 4 seconds, it's going to reach 12 meters per second. So you can say it's the area of this triangle, which is a half times 4 times 12. A half times 4 times 12 is going to give us 24 again. So there's lots of ways of us doing this question. Okay, in this case here, all right, um, this is what you would use if you just didn't want to find V uh, first. And this is what you use if you find V first. Both are perfectly fine, absolutely fine to use either of those two methods to find the distance traveled. Okay, so it's just a case of constant acceleration. It's constant acceleration in this section here. And you can just use the SUVAT equations and you got the answer straight away. Now for part B, it says find the total distance traveled by the car for the whole of the first 26 seconds of its journey. So we've established so far that it's, it's traveled 24 meters in this section here. So now we also know that... Um, in the first section, okay, the first four seconds, so from um, zero to four seconds, okay, its initial speed was zero and its final speed was 12 meters per second, 
we worked that out by V equals U plus A T. So you had zero plus uh, four times three, and that gave us this. Now from four to 24 seconds, there's a new situation now. The acceleration is different. So I'm going to use SUVAT again. Okay, I have to use it again separately because now the acceleration is now less. It's 1.5 meters per second squared, and the time is 20 seconds between the you know this new acceleration. Um, the initial speed we know was 12 meters per second because that's the speed it reached at four seconds. Um, we have to find the distance and we don't know the final speed. So we could do the same thing again. We can say s equals ut plus a half at squared. Okay, and we can get the this the uh, the distance from that. So I'm just going to um, transfer this down to here. Just so we can use s equals ut plus a half at squared. So we can say s equals u, which is 12, times t, which is 20, plus a half, times acceleration, which is 1.5, times 20 squared. That's one way of doing it. And that will give us the distance moved in that section there. Okay, so if we take our calculator and we do uh, 12 times, oops, 12 times 20, plus um, a half, so I'll put 0 0.5, this keeps doubling up the numbers, 0 0.5 times 1.5 times 20 squared, which gives you 400 anyway. So that gives you 540, so that's 540 meters in this section here. So that's 540 meters. So, so far it's 540 plus 24, that's 564 meters. Now we've got to find the the distance traveled in this next section here. So what we can do here is, um, what we need to do here is really we need to find the speed. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another way of finding this um, same um, distance here. And what it is, is to find first again the final speed. So we know V equals U plus AT. So V in this case is going to be U, which is 12, plus A, which is 1.5, times T, which is 20. So the final speed in this section is going to be 12 plus 30, which is 42 meters per second. So this is 42 meters per second. And then I can use, again, S equals U plus V over 2 times the time. So I can say here that S is equal to U, which is 12, plus V, which is 42, over 2 times the time, which was 20 seconds. Okay, so that's going to give me a 10 here. So S is going to be 12 plus 42, which is 54. 54 times 10 is going to give me 540 meters again. Okay, so this is good. In fact, I would prefer this method because we have to, um, in both methods, we have to find what the next speed is. All right, so now we found the next speed automatically, and this is an easier equation to use than that. So I would stick with this equation to be honest, for all of these sections, because now we've got to go to the last section, and again, we've got to use a different SUVAT because it's a different acceleration. So in, in the time between 24 and 26 seconds, so between 24 and 26 seconds, that's another section. Okay, so we've got here, um, again, we can use SUVAT again. SUVAT, we, we've got to write down what we know. We have to find S. U is, you see, this is the, the, the speed at the start of this, which is 42 meters per second. V, we don't know, and we can actually find it. The acceleration this time is negative, it's negative 4 meters per second squared. This is meters per second. And the time is 2 seconds. Between 24 and 26 is 2 seconds. Okay, so this is 2 seconds. So, again, what I'm going to do here, I could use S equals um, UT plus a half AT squared, and that would work. But I think it's going to be easy for me to find what the final velocity is. So V equals U plus AT. So the final velocity is of initial velocity plus A, which is minus 4 times 2. Okay, so that's going to give you 42 minus 8. 42 minus 8 is 34. So the, the final velocity is 34 meters per second. It's decelerating, of course, so its speed is getting less. So now I can again say S equals... Uh, u plus v over 2 times the time. So s equals u, which is 42, plus v, which is 34, over 2 times the time, which is 2. 
So the 2's cancel out and you're left with 42 plus 34, which is going to be 76 meters. Okay, and you would have got the same thing if we use S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And I'll show you that just so for information. So S equals U times T plus a half times A, which is minus 4 times T squared. UT plus a half AT squared. Let's see what that gives us. We're going to have 42 times 2 plus a half times minus 4 times 2 squared, which is 4. It gives you exactly the same answer, 76, 76. So you can see either way would work fine. Okay, 76 meters. But you see, in all of these cases, we had to find the next speed up. So we had to use V equals UA2 anyway, um, you know, in the previous part of the question. So that kind of makes this this particular method easier because this is an easy equation to use so now we've got to f we know that the distance travel in this last section is 76 meters so now we have to add the three distances together so we can say the total distance the total distance is going to be the first distance which was 24 plus 540 24 plus 540 plus 76. If you just make sure I've written, written them all correctly. 24 plus 540 plus 76. Okay, that's right. So that's going to give me 74 plus 24. Uh, sorry, 76 plus 24 looks like that's 100. 100 plus 540 is 640 meters. And that is the answer. So the total distance, let me write that a bit neater, is 640 meters. So, not actually a very difficult question, to be honest. It's just maybe a bit different from what people are used to, um, not really used to seeing the acceleration time graphs. But using SUVAT makes life easier, and you've got a choice of equations to use, and they're all fine. Okay, so this is um, the last question of this paper. So, the paper is now completed, and all the other questions will be found in this playlist that should be in this area here. And the questions that are related to um, you know, like kinematics, velocity time graphs, acceleration time graphs, etc., will be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link, and at the top of the paper will be a link to a different M1 past paper that you might be interested in watching. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.